This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Edie versus Edie. You all have been together for three years. You are recently married, newlyweds, with the goal of spending your golden years together. But those golden years may be tarnished depending on what happens here today. Am I right, Mr. Edie? Yo, yeah, you right, John. All right. Mr. Edie, yeah. you brought this case today. Tell me why. I believe my wife cheating. Oh. I think, yeah, I think she cheating. There's too many coincidences going on around that house. You know, I'm just tired of it. I ain't, I ain't crazy. So, oh, you, yes. so we hear about women's intuition. You got a male intuition going on. Something's going on. Something ain't right in Denmark. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miss Edie, why are you here? Well, I'm here to prove to him that I am not cheating. Okay. I'm very flattered that this 66-year-old woman still catches an eye. Okay, oh. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> but I love a you. Oh, I'm still saying she cheating. I got to stand on it. I'm going to prove it today. So, Miss Edie, you smiling, she's smiling. And I'm thinking y'all think about how it was in the beginning. Tell me about how y'all met. I met on a Super Bowl. It was like a Super Bowl Sunday. And I uh, talked to one of my family members. And family member say, <laughs> hey, I got somebody for you. So I talked to her on the phone, you know. We was talking, laughing and all. Then we talked for like a whole month. Then she say, well, why don't you come down here to me? I you have you seen her at this point? No. Nah, no. I see the picture Pick on the up. phone. But you all had not physically it, met. No, we didn't physically met. So man, that's the, uh, that's the leap of faith right there. I, right. <laughs> so I sold everything. I got in that car and I came to three states. Then I was talking to her on the phone. I said, look, I'm almost there. I'll be there by the hour. She said, well, I got to go to work in the morning. I'll see you in the morning. I said, no, you see me tonight. Three states. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when I got there, we sit down and talk. So things left on to things. So I laid up there and put the smack down that <laughs> night, you know? The smack so, down. Yeah. Well, you, I don't think I'm old enough for this conversation. <laughs> So the, the next morning, she's supposed to go to work, but she knocking on the window at 9 o'clock. I say, well, ain't you supposed to be to work? You know, she said, no, nah, I have to come back, you know, so... I had to make sure it was mama. right. Oh! Oh, see, look, you, you see what the SmackDown will do for you? Yeah! Yeah. Not once! So, yeah, so we talked and talked, got together, then I moved in with her. This is the woman I've been looking for all my life, for real. All right! Ms. I've Ellie. never had my, my family members tell me that I look happier than I've ever been. Yeah, you had a man right. drive through three states to get to you. you and do the, wait a minute, drive through three states and do the smackdown. So you know she's supposed to be smiling. Now we're too old to wait. You know? <laughs> there you go. So, so what was it like when you first met? When you first got together, I mean, what was it about him that you liked? What was it like in the beginning? I liked his person, the way he dressed. I mean, you know, I like He's to snappy. dress. He's snappy. I love snappy. to dress. I got to tell this story. Okay. Okay. When we first met and we was going shopping and, you know, he likes to ride around in those little cart things. Okay. And he got ready to get in that cart. I said, not with me, you're not. <laughs> I said, you walking. And he's been walking ever since. All right. So uh -huh. she's like, she's making you a better man. Mm -hmm. Oh, she did. She made a better man, but I'm still saying there's something going on around that house. <laughs> Because right. you had this beautiful beginning, this beautiful start to a beautiful relationship, but then you start to see something, something's going on. What are these warning signs? What, what did you see? Okay, uh, the first warning sign is I'm on her turf. You're on her turf? Yeah. She put on a ringtone, my man calling, my man calling. So I'm looking at your man calling, you know, that you, you had music. Well, I know it's me, then when we got married, she said, my husband called it. My husband called it. So one day I call. She ran into the farm. I said, what you doing out of breath? Uh, I just uh, cleaning the bathroom. Your Honor, I bathroom from here to there in the front room unless she had to jump over the sofa and the table and run around to be out of breath. So you think thinking she got this specific ringtone just in case? When I call, she knows you got to answer that phone. But if it's just a regular ringtone, she ain't got to worry about it. But if my man call it, I got to answer this phone before he thinks something. Uh, 
He knows something. But you know, in some worlds, I'm just putting it out there. Right. In some worlds, that's kind of showing that this 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 particular number is special to me. Like I, each of my sons had their own ring toe. Right. Mr. Cutler has his own ring toe. My best friend has her ring toe. Right. That way, I know who's calling, and I'm like, this is a call I want to take. Okay, then tell her to put. Do you smell the rock is cooking the smack down at the end of the <laughs> 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 Donna, This man sets up booby traps in the house. Booby traps? Booby traps, yes. Okay, tell me about this. Okay. <laughs> the kitchen. At night, he puts like the um, dish tray in front with the chopping board in front of the door and two knives in the door. Let me okay. show you. Let me show you. Okay, here's the chopping board. Uh huh. This is the dish tray. Uh huh. There are the knives. And so... And, that, and that's the door to your house? That's the door. That's the French door leading to the basement. Door to go to my game. It goes to the basement, and it goes to the outside sun porch. What? Okay. I, so if somebody opens the door, what happens? All of this racket would happen. All of this yeah. racket, the knives would fall off, the dishes would hear. fall and break, the, all of that. It's just... And it's, he does this how often? Every night. Right. But she didn't every tell you why. Every night. Okay, tell me why, because I'm trying to understand. She didn't tell you why. When we got together and I moved in there with her about three, three nights, you know, we got alarm on the house. Uh-huh. Right? The back door, alarm go off. Um, she's still laying in bed. I'm jumping up now. I'm in a fresh house. There ain't no ghosts around here. You somebody got a key to come in this door because I checked that door before we went to bed. <laughs> So you thinking another man's coming for the SmackDown? Yep. Oh. Yeah, but dumb days over with. The only yeah. SmackDown is your SmackDown. Yeah, it's supposed to be, but we're gonna find Got out it. today. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, and so like, what do you so what do you think about all this? You go in there and you see all this right. set up. I, I'm just like, whatever. I told him, whatever you want to do, fine. He's gotta have it the front door. When we leave the house, the front door, he takes a little piece of paper. Yep. and sticks it up in the front door, to sh and he shuts the door. And so when we go in the house and I open the door, that little piece of paper will fall. That way he knows nobody's been in the house. You putting all his secrets out here yeah. today. Yeah. I learned. <laughs> I but learned that off of James Bond. I was supposed to, you can do what you want to do. I'm going to put the paper up there. Uh, so, so Miss yeah. Edie, you are that suspicious of your wife that she's cheating with somebody, that you're going through all these steps just to make sure nobody's coming in and out of your house. Your Honor, I got proof. How she cheating with putting cellular phones in a wig and everything else. So I'm hearing something go, hmm. I, I, I'm looking, hmm. So I think that she had it in her head, but a few minutes she jumps up. I said, where you gone? Boy. That T show running me to the bathroom. Uh, yeah, whatever. I'm right. going to be claiming so my wig. So, wait a minute, Miss Edie. Hold on, hold on. Miss Edie, did you ever see her pull a phone out of her wig? She too slick for that. Yes or no? No. Yeah. But I brought somebody here today to show you better than I could tell you. So, you got a live exhibit? Yes, I do, y'all. OK. <laughs> Ron, can you bring in the live exhibit? Yes, John. Uh, oh, my God. Yes, I do. How are you? All right, what we got okay. here? Now you see them wigs? One of them I call Back to Future. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> when I know she put that on, she up to no good. I'm so reclaiming my wig. Future. I'm getting ready to reclaim So wig. I'm about to show y'all what you could do with a wig. Now this is a telephone into a wig. Right. Okay. Right. So if she said, well, hey, I'm going outside somewhere, right? Can you please pull a set of keys out your wig? Oh. I'm just showing you what you could do with a wig. Yeah, and I told her about it. Right? Oh, my Lord. Right. And she, so probably, you... yeah, she probably got money in there. <laughs> have, but she always crying broke. <laughs> Miss Edie. Hey. That's... Lord have mercy. <laughs> I just want to reclaim my wig. That's all I want to do. So, you, are you wearing your wig? I haven't worn a wig since we got married. I wore a wig on our wedding, for our wedding. And I haven't put one on since. Look at my wig. Think about me. 
wigs. And so you want to reclaim your wigs. Yes, I do. All right. So you're trying to get your wigs back. That's not happening. Mm -mm. Because he believes you hiding everything but the kitchen under your wig. Right. All right, ma'am, thank you so much. Thank you. You know, All right, we not we haven't had a live demonstration like that, Mr. Color. Yeah, that's uh, some uh, Pam Griff, Foxy Brown stuff. You <laughs> pull, you pull stuff out of your wig. Well, yeah. he actually believes the James Bond. You know how James Bond turns his shoe into a knife and he takes uh -huh. off his coat and it's a bomb. I mean, he's thinking that's what she's doing. Okay. Now I'm gonna make sure somebody come in that house while I'm not there. I'm gonna find out. Well, Mr. Eden, let me ask you this: Do you have any other reason to believe that she's cheating? Yes. Uh. So one day we went somewhere and I said, well, you go head on to the car. And I have uh, a deck window that I got vines that I could see out, but you can't see in. Can I show you? Yes. yes. Step to the monitor and show us, please. All right. So she's walk out the front and she's over here by the flower bed, right? So she, there's a certain flower there that's a white flower that I seen her push the uh, stuff out and look like put a key there, like right here. So that's the close up of what we were looking at before. Right. And you stood right. there and watched her do this. Yes, I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking out the window. Hey, Adam, God, so... The average person would have come out and said, what are you doing? No, because I, I wanted to see, <laughs> I wanted to see who getting this key. So you think she's leaving the key there for another man? Yeah. To do the smack down. Yeah, I guess so. I guess my smack ain't down no more. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I want to hold on. I want to go back to this planner. Do you know what he's talking about when you were out there in the flower bed? I'm always out there pulling weeds because I try to keep the flower bed clean. And if I see a weed sticking out, I just go pull it. So that you There's think no that's what you were doing? I know that's, what, that's did, the only thing I could be doing. Did you put a key out there? No. You, you're not putting a key out there no. for that special someone? No. <laughs> All right. This is the only special someone I know. <laughs> and I love uh, him I, I, love my, I love my wife. I really truly do love her, but I just got to find out. I just got to know. All right, Mr. Cullen, I think we got enough. It's all yeah. circumstantial. But here's what we got. We got, he believes his wife is hiding a secret phone, keys, money under her wig, Miss Millie, the wig Miss Millie. <laughs> he said... Back to the future. Back to the future. Mm -hmm. He's, she's, he believes she's leaving keys in the planner out by the in, the, in the middle of the yard. At this time, the court will call certified polygraph examiner Kendall Schell to determine, is she cheating? Um, <laughs> Good day, Mr. Shaw. How are you? Good day, Your Honor. Fine, sir. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Would you state your credentials, please, for the court? I was privileged to work for the FBI in Washington, D.C. for almost 30 years. I worked uh, foreign counterintelligence, white-collar crime. I advanced through polygraph school until I became chief of the entire FBI's polygraph program. I retired, set up my own practice in uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. You conducted a polygraph examination on Miss Edie, is that correct? I did, Your Honor. You asked Miss Edie, have you been hiding keys in the planter box to cheat with other men? What was her response to that question? She said no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was being truthful, Your Honor. It's just weeds, Mr. Edie. It's just weeds. <laughs> Ain't no keys involved. All right. All right. You asked Mrs. Edie, since you've been in a relationship with Mr. Edie, have you had sexual intercourse with any other man? What was her response? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was being truthful. Uh, well, I owe you two. Come here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love you. Mm, I love you. <laughs> you all are a lively, vibrant couple. I like that. I like to see that. It gives us Thank hope you. for our golden years. 
Yeah, she's the only one. I, that's the only person I love. I finally met the woman I love in 50 some years. And this is my rock. You no, know, God brought this us together. Rock. All right, well, Miss Edie, hold up your right hand, turn to Miss Edie, <laughs> say, I, I, Fred Edie, Fred Edie, promise to stop, promise to stop, accusing my wife, accusing my wife, of cheating with other men, cheating with other men, and, <laughs> and, I promise. I promise. That you can now. You can now. Start wearing your wigs again. <laughs> start wearing your wigs again. Thank you. <laughs> all right. You all have been together three years. You all yes. met at a gas station. Yes, yes Your, Your Honor. Honor. And I want to know why you have brought your significant other to court today. Well, Your Honor, I'm here today because I'm five months pregnant with our third child, and I'm actually trying to see if he's actually continually cheating with his ex right now. I need to know. All right, Mrs. Chappelle, you hear what she's saying about you. Are you cheating? No, Your Honor, and, and today I, I'm here to prove I, uh, I, I'm not cheating on her. I do really love my family and, and want my family. Ms. Ross Ben, what are you wanting this court to do? I just need to know the truth. Is he still cheating so I can move on with my life? And honestly, if he is, I'm just done because I'm tired of going over the same thing over and over again. So what would be the last straw for you? If his lie detector test come back that he lying, that's the last straw. And that's so everything straw. is at risk. That's the last straw. So, Mr. Chappelle, do you want this to work? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, but what does she mean to you? Uh, she means everything. That's my best friend. I don't have nobody but her. Honestly, it's just this bond we got. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. And Look before, at that career. <laughs> it's a bond we got, and honestly, I ain't really cared about nobody else like I care about him. All right, Mrs. Chappelle, you want to prove to her that you are not cheating? Yes, Your Honor. I've been clean of cheating and all that for, for a year now, Your Honor. For a year? Y yes, Your Honor. But you don't believe it. I'm looking at a look on your face. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> no, Your Honor, I don't believe it at all. So what happened in the past? Well, in the past, he actually... The first thing in the past, he told me the car he was driving was his family member car, and it was a woman car the whole time, so... All right, wait a minute, wait a minute. Tell okay. me about how is he driving a car and, and telling you it's somebody else's? We actually got into an argument when I was pregnant. I had just found out I was pregnant with our first child. We got into an argument and my hormones were all over. And I told him, I'm like, get out, don't come back. But I didn't mean it. And next thing I know, a week later, his family calling me like, uh, yeah, he has a new woman. And that's when I'm like, okay. So when his family is calling you saying he's got somebody new, and you're pregnant with his child. Yes. How were you feeling about that? Honestly, I was stressed out, depressed, hurt. Like, I was there in the whole pregnancy by myself. Like, nobody was there but my family. Like, he came towards the end of my pregnancy. So what but happened with this car? The car, he came over and he came to pick me up to take me to get something to eat. We're in the car. He went into the gas station first because we had to get gas. And he, while he go in the car, I'm in there doing investigation. And I open the glove compartment. It's a box of Magnum condoms. Like, not a little box, not the three in a pack. It's a big box of Magnum condoms. Like, you need it for a month to supply. Nah. Whose car was he saying? Nah. Was he saying it was his car? No, he said it was his family car. Mr. Chappelle, you, you, whose car was it? Your Honor, it, it, it was a family member car. It wasn't my condoms or anything that she found in, in a car. Okay, well, Ms. Ross Bennett, I mean, it makes sense. It's not his car, so anything you find in there probably doesn't belong to him. Why do you think that is an indication that he's cheating? Because that was the only time I found something in the car. I went back when he came and took me to the OB appointment. I found the perfume, the mail with her name on there. Yeah, like, can I object? It was more evidence can, to just can, can verify please, that it wasn't I, a family member's car. So, I, but whose car was this? If it, it was a woman car. Did, How did you find did, this out? Well, one time he was by my house and his family member was over there. The family member showed me the password to his phone and he did not know of it. And, like, the night he went to sleep, I got up, I'm going to the bathroom, and I took the phone with me and I went through it. And I seen him tell her, drive safe, hon. And I'm like, drive safe? Oh, that was already answered enough questions. Hold, hold, hold on. How did you know she owned the car, though? Well, I actually, when I got the information, I took the license plate and I actually put it in, uh, it's like a thing you can go online and look up who the vehicle owns. Yeah, Press yeah. <laughs> so, so, you just I, a regular I did Sherlock my investigation Holmes. as a woman. I'm not gonna sit around and look like nobody fool. So, I did my own investigation and it all added up. And I'm gonna presume this woman is not his relative. 
No, it's not his brother. <laughs> no. You're on the dude, dude. Okay, Mr. Chappelle, what do you have to say about all this? What I could say, do she have proof that it was a woman's car? Is there pictures or any any of this saying it was a woman's car? Okay, the car is registered to a woman. I think that's what she found out. Well, that, that, that's what, what she says. Well, you told her it was a family member's it, car, it, right? It wasn't a family member's car. It, it, Your Honor, it, it, it's a family member car. That... Okay, Mr. Chappelle, you're in court. You're under oath. You're supposed to tell the truth. Now, this car wasn't a family member's car, was it? Your, Your Honor, that, that's, that's, that, that, that's what I, I told her in, in the beginning. That, okay. That it was a family member car until I, I got the, the picture of the, the condom box. The, the perfume, I don't, I don't know what she's talking about. All right, Mr. Mr. Chappelle, you've taken this car, you've driven it all the way around the block, you still haven't answered my question. So park it, <laughs> park the car, and just answer my question. This was not a family member's car, was it? Yes, yes, Your Honor, it was a family member's car. Who is this woman? Do but, you know her? But, Your Honor, how, how did yes she not... Yes or no question? Y yes, Your Honor. You know her? Y yes, Your Honor. How do you know this woman? She, 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 she's a friend, Your Honor. Wink, wink. What kind so of friend? She's not a family member. N no, no, Your Honor. Why did you tell your girlfriend it was a family member's car? Because the, the, the way uh, Ashley will, will react about the situation. If she would have knew right then and there, it, it wouldn't have been a good situation. Because... It ain't a good situation now. <laughs> <laughs> you right. Were you intimate with her? No, not at the time, Your Honor. Not at the time. What time were you intimate with her? She said well, we, we didn't break up. We didn't. But from get out and don't come back, I took it as I, I, I'm going to leave and don't come back. Did you tell him get out and don't come back? I mean, I didn't say don't come back. I just said get out. I didn't say, oh, don't come back. I said just get out because we was arguing. It was like, going to go back and forth. So I just said get out. Like she, she never said come back. She said get out and don't come back. All right. Well, let let me make later. sure I got this story. You tell him get out. He calls a friend, let you use her car, and I think you have hinted that you all had sex after you got out. Is that true? It's two months later. So, did you continue to have interaction with this woman? We, we, we was friends, friends for, for the two months. Once Ashley put me out in, in March, is, that's when I, I, I met the girl. Okay, so you met her after you got put out. Yes. And two months after meeting her, you all hooked up. Correct. No. Okay, so okay. after all this, y'all managed to get back together. We had a baby together. I was trying to make it work. I felt like, oh, he could change. He could change. He, it felt like he changed for a while. It was some months, like months, you know? And then, like, I had my son. Everything was okay. And then I found out I had postpartum. And then, here he go. He gone again. Like, he just can't stay around when you need him. He just around, you know, when he want to be around. What makes you believe he's cheating now? Oh, I've seen it this year now, like, writing women on dating sites. Okay, right. what is this about you, dating Honor, sites? I, I, I'm, I'm not having sexual contact with no woman. That's hard to believe. Okay, so we got into a little argument, like always. Any couple gonna argue, but he run from his situation. He don't know how to communicate. Like, it's a communication problem. He just, okay, I'm gone. Where did he tell you he was going? He told me that wasn't my business, so All I right. don't know. So, Mr. Chappelle, where did you go? A a everywhere, Your Honor. Okay. <laughs> Hanging out with friends? Yeah, pretty much. I, I wasn't with, with no, no women. If you I, asked her where she's going and she told you none of your business, what would you think? She was probably with somebody. Okay. <laughs> so exactly. you're not helping. You're right. not helping your But he said he was hanging out with his buddies. I know what he said, and I also heard what he said to his wife. And what he said to her was, none of your business. But he's, don't, a, don't he's allowed try. to hang with his buddies, right? Don't even Wait, try no, no. it. He's allowed to hang out with his buddies, right? That's a yes or no okay, question. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> it depends on how you came at him, but, you know, I, I get that. So, you said something about dating sites. Yes. Why do you believe them. he's on dating sites or using dating apps? Well, we were supposed to go out to dinner. We did go out to dinner, but when he came home, he had an attitude like he didn't want to go. We, we had planted this for, like, three days prior to us going out to dinner with the family. We get there, we eat, I left it alone. I see his phone study going off, but, you know, he turned it on silent so I wouldn't hear it anymore, and then he put it in his pocket. And okay. after we left dinner, we got home, he went to the restroom, but he left the phone on the bed. And when I seen it on the bed, I'm like, 
like, Snoopy. okay, a woman, you know, I'm gonna go through it. So I went through it, I picked it up, I go through it, and I see her calling as I went through. She wasn't just calling, like, trying to talk. She was trying to FaceTime him. So I see the text. Is, I text her back. I said, who is this? And she was like, oh, really? So now you don't know who I am? Okay, then, bye. But you're on right, going to that, 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 that was, that was, Look, I was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> that's going I really hard. was. <laughs> who is this woman? Did you meet her on a dating site? Y yes, Your Honor. What's her relationship to you? D there is no relationship. It, it was only a, a one-day thing. But uh, they FaceTiming at work. He yeah. at work, but he FaceTiming her, so it was fun. Oh, huh. that, 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 that's all it was, Co conversation. But why is this woman saying to his girlfriend, you don't know who I am? That indicates that there's been more than one but day of conversation. Thank you, thank you. My uh, point is actually, and next thing I know, he was texting an ex, too. So this is also recent that yes. he's been texting yes. with his ex? Yes, yes. Her boyfriend or whatever, he reached me on Facebook and was telling me how they got into it when he was there and how he's still contacting her and... What contact? are you having with his ex? Your Honor, there is no contact o o over the year. Of May 2016, me and that uh, girl haven't contacted each other, no sexual contact, nothing. Mm. No, no, no email, no, 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 no FaceTime, no, no, no Facebook. I I'm on phone punishment, Your Honor. You on He's phone lucky. punishment? Yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> And so what is phone punishment? No, no, no phone, phone punishment go, goes back from the, the last incident in, in February. She said, since you want to do this, I'm going to take the phone. That's why I have no phone today. You see that? Whole girl slapped it down. You ain't going to have it in be no. none of that. I'm not going to help him talk to the women. If he's going to do it, he better go out there and do it himself. All right, to get to the bottom of this, the court has engaged the services of licensed private investigator Eric Eccles. Uh, Ron, would you please escort Mr. Eccles into the courtroom? Yes, sir. Don't know this. Right, Mr. Eccles, how are you doing today? Fine, Your Honors. How are you doing? Doing good. It's good how to see you. How are you doing, ma'am? In connection with this case, what did you do in your investigation? Well, I went undercover and I posed as a litigant and that I was being accused as a person who was cheating on his spouse. Ah. All right, so in this case, what did you uncover? We started engaging in our conversation about the nature of his relationship with someone he had met on an internet site. So basically, he said he never touched the girl. Is so that correct? So in this actual um, video clip, he did say that he never in his term, smashed her. <laughs> <laughs> and you believed him? At this particular time, yes, I did. Okay, I did what else happened? Well, now myself and Mr. Chappelle is getting a little bit more comfortable. And I started talking to him in reference to texting his ex-girlfriend. Okay. So y'all must be still texting each other. She must have called Texas. Uh, uh, that's on period. Okay, so by revealing this, he denied texting his girlfriend. And his you believe... And at this time, I still believe it. So, did you find anything incriminating? Well, I tell you, Your Honor, at one point, I was believing everything that he was telling me, and then I started talking to him about a situation where he went out a couple of nights ago. <laughs> and at this point, I was surprised by his response. All right, let's see the tape. Just out again. Matter of fact, before we got here. Oh, you was out? With the girl. Mm -hmm. your, your Honor, it, 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 it was no, no, no woman. You didn't no, want it was on tape. Uh, <laughs> Are you telling me to believe you and not believe uh, what I just saw? Your Honor, you, you can believe me. How do you? I what? am. You, you just said I was with another girl. <laughs> I was just out, Your Honor. But was you with a woman, though? That's what she said. Did you hear her? No. It's all different types of women in the world. Oh, okay. it, 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 Mr. Yeah, Chappelle. Look, Mr. we Chappelle. are asking you about the types of women. Nah, I'm asking nah, it you... It wasn't no, it wasn't no let, let's hang out or any of this, just me and her or any of that. I, I was out riding, being honest. Mr. Eccles, did he give you any more information? Well, no, he didn't, but what I found, he does something what I call diverted denials. 
In other words, he tries to take you around and around and around until you mm -hmm. get to the right spot. I am so tired of that circle he's been on. <laughs> yeah, so, so that's okay. something that he does, and then you have to really zero in and give him a specific question. And that's what I determined. But I couldn't determine through that um, interview process that he was actually having sex with any of the ind individuals, but I did find him questionable. To further get to the bottom of this, the court has ordered a polygraph test of Mr. Chappelle, and we have the result. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Shell into the courtroom? Yes, Your Honor. Go ahead and take the witness. Mr. Mr. Shell, we need you today. <laughs> I did. Please have a seat. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. Thank All you. Right. You performed a polygraph examination of Mr. Chappelle, is that correct? I did, Your Honor. You asked Mr. Chappelle, did you have sexual contact with a girl you were communicating with from the dating site? What was his response to that question? His response was no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was truthful. Don't clap yet now. It ain't over. Ms. Ross Bennett, you, you. you're not convinced? No. All right, well, we have one last question. OK. You asked Mr. Chappelle, have you had sexual contact with your ex since May of 2016? What was Mr. Chappelle's response? His response was no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was truthful. There, there it is. I'm done. Like, really done. Like, you literally stayed out all night with women when your kid's at home. I'm pregnant, but you out with women. No, I'm done. <laughs>